Welcome back, everybody. You already know this your girl, Heaven Sink. I want to thank all y'all for fucking with me. Now, this is going to be your energies that's coming in in the next three days. Keep in mind, this read is general and it may not resonate with no damn body. Don't forget, I am on Patreon. The link is in the description box below. You can go on over there, join for free so you get access to different reads or become a member okay so you can get access to pretty much all the reads depending on your membership now let me tap right in because the energies that's coming in in the next three days it's like okay your divine masculine is coming in in the next three days okay i'm talking this masculine is giving clarity okay this is action oriented okay this is a powerful presence all right it's like this masculine is going to be generous at heart okay like this energy has embodied a particular person who you feel like is you know the one the way they're going to be acting towards you, it's like in a way that you wanted this person to always be. You know what I'm saying? Like, you knew this was always in them. Okay. Um, This divine masculine is working. Put the hard work in. Fuck that. Put the hard work in to become this person that they knew they was capable of being but maybe at the time they had to go through different lessons type shit you know what i'm saying um they had to evolve and grow and it's like now this masculine you're gonna see you know a divine masculine type shit you know what i'm saying in the next three days okay this masculine is going to be more assertive, more confident, speak up, okay, for themselves. This is a type that can no longer bow out of things and situations when they become fearful, okay? They're about to fight for what they love, and that's you, okay? So just know in the next three days, your masculine is about to show the fuck up, in a way where you like damn that's sexy you know what i'm saying it's like that type of shit that's coming in in the next three days now it's gonna be a conversation but i feel like you're gonna be doing more listening than anything okay this masculine may apologize for some things where it's like okay they never want to take you for granted again They've learned their lesson and they sorry type shit, you know? So it's going to be some clarity. It's going to be a conversation. This is serious, okay? They could be, you know, talking about some serious commitment type shit. But I feel like you more of listening than anything. Because the situation is a love offer. Their heart is on the line here. They want to offer you the world and promise you, you will have the best version of them. That's the situation. <laughs> what a love offer now it's a challenge here okay it's a challenge some of this shit they be saying with these messages or certain shit when they call you you don't want to pick up like certain shit you just don't want to respond to or just don't want to have a conversation because some of this shit they be saying it be like when they talking or when you reading a message it's kind of like where is the emotion behind it it's kind of dry you know what i'm saying it's sarcastic and clownish type you know what i'm saying it's like is you ever gonna say anything fucking serious it's, it's it's given like that you know what i'm saying you may ask a question but it may take a minute for a motherfucker to respond back and then when they do respond back it's like okay what the fuck is this did you even answer the question? It's like going around in a circle around a question or, or some shit like that. But I feel like this person, you know, m maybe, you know, been working hard to try to communicate or something like that. Like, because maybe certain shit that they don't know what to say. 
Okay, they don't know how to respond. So, you know, they may need, you know, a couple of classes dealing with communication skills or something like that. How to respond, you know, um, don't just be saying shit just to be saying some shit. You know what I'm saying? If a person, a person asks you a question, it's like, answer the motherfucker. Like, don't go off in the deep hole dealing with some other shit, change the subject, or it, it, it's like turning it into a joke. It's like, okay, the shit ain't funny. You know, so that's a challenge here. It's definitely a challenge here. Also, I'm seeing here on the foundation, it's a lot of breakups. Break up to make up, break up to make up, break up to make up. It's a lot of money on this foundation. So maybe you connected to this person through your job. Maybe you two work at the same place or something like that. But it is a lot of money on this foundation. Maybe a lot of money been spent. But it's a lot of breakups to make up. A lot of time here. I'm seeing a lot of time, a lot of money around you too. Like it's a lot of money on this foundation, but it's always, what's this? Something always starts over seriously. Like the opportunity is always there or something like that on this foundation. Like the opportunity is always there. This type of energy is like grounded in. Something is concrete with all this energy this is like concrete energy okay like it's not going anywhere it's like spin it get it right back type vibe you know what i'm saying it's like that type of shit here it's like this person always come right back or something like that because it's always see it's coming from this person could have been the type that's like co codependent you know what i'm saying and depending on people or things or whatever the situation is and i feel like you may have opened this person up you know to make them look at us like you don't really need anybody you know what i'm saying you may have made this person focus in on that type of energy where it's like okay stop being stop being like you need somebody you know what i'm saying it's like you should be able to do a lot of shit by yourself you know and i feel like you that prime example you gave you you that example for them to look at like damn you know my feminine can do everything it's like okay i can do everything too okay i don't have to be codependent on another motherfucker i don't have to need a co-signer for some shit you know what i'm saying you can get this shit on your own you can do this shit by yourself like you you know what i'm saying so you made this person look at life maybe in a totally different way is where all this is coming from this person went through some type of spiritual detox okay um really instead of judging you and other people they judging themselves you know judging them fucking selves going there trying to fix shit about themselves okay now i feel like when this come in you're going to be looking at this person like yeah they changed in a way it's something with old habits or something like you're going to see like okay a new version of this person that's how you're going to be looking at this situation like this offer you like okay this is something new okay who is this you know, like, who is this? It's like, this is your fucking divine masculine. I don't know who the fuck that person was before this. You know what I'm saying? But this energy that's in this person's body right now is your divine masculine. Now, it's a lot of avoidance here, a lot of energy of avoidance. You know, ducking and dodging and, you know, don't want to face the truth type shit. But this person is coming in as your divine masculine. Like, you're going to be like... Did you get cloned or something? Like, who is this? Like, let me keep this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't look. Don't go nowhere. Sit down. Okay? You're going to be trying to, you know, keep this person locked the fuck up. Like, this is the real divine masculine. Okay? I don't know who the fuck I was just dealing with yesterday. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I feel like this is leading to, it's like this person being guided towards this connection. Towards you. They being guided. Because it's like rejecting the wrong person. Like doing, like you, like, how am I trying to say it? Like, okay, fucking over the wrong person, you know, um, thinking that you were just anybody or something like that. Taking you for granted. It's like taking the wrong person for granted, doing, a, doing somebody that's special somebody that's a blessing in your life you doing them wrong type shit um
regrets and losses and it's like this energy of like sad and it's like knowing that they have to make this right maybe it took somebody to emotionally detach from this for this person to get it if that's making sense because it's like this person could feel the emotional cutoff you know where it's like okay you could be just in this energy of focusing on you and stuff like that because i feel like you see this person what they love about you is the fact that you are stable and you know where you're going and at the same time you know how to cut off giving this person any type of attention like yeah when you in the mood okay yeah you a shower with this person with attention love affection or whatever but you know how to cut that shit off when you're not getting that shit reciprocated this person loves that shit about you because it's like the more you do that the more they want you or something like that and this person spirit is definitely guiding them towards you like stop fucking over the wrong person like this person be fucking over you like in a way where it's just it's kind of disrespectful you know what i'm saying because it's like do you know who the fuck that is that you fucking over you fucking over the wrong one like are you dumb it's like that type of shit are you stupid it's like they guiding this person towards you because they know it's like okay if this if you was to really walk out of their fucking life slam the door i'm talking move out of the fucking country it will be bad for this person real bad because ain't no coming back this person may actually try to find you like for real try to find you investigation all type of shit because it will be that bad you know what i'm saying so this person wants to apologize for taking you for granted for taking the connection for granted or whatever this is but they are guided to come towards you because it was like it's supposed to be simple like it's supposed to be successful it's supposed to it's like your destiny what the fuck are you doing you know what i'm saying like that's the, how the spirit guides are like talking to this masculine like what the fuck is you doing this is the direction you're supposed to be going it's like guiding them in this direction towards you it's like what the fuck don't reject that don't do that person wrong why are you doing that to that person you know what i'm saying and that's the person you love you the person that has their heart and it is what it is now the only thing about this situation is you scare this person with this psychic shit your intuition scares them because you know so much about them like they could try to paint this illusion of you know try to make motherfuckers confused and all of this shit but the only person that's confused is they ass because you can see right through the shit you read they ass like a like some instructions around this bitch you know what i'm saying that's it that's all so like just know this person is afraid of your intuition because they know your shit be on point you know what i'm saying it's like yeah you could try to pull a wolf the wool over other motherfuckers ass but <sighs> motherfucker i see right through you i could feel you you ain't gotta say shit you know what i'm saying motherfuckers ain't gotta say shit you already know what the fuck is going on so yeah that's pretty much all i got for the energy that's coming in in the next three days so expect your divine masculine to show the fuck up okay whether it's a knock on the door a call a text a email a dm <laughs> okay and yeah it's coming in no matter how you know so yeah that's pretty much all i got thumbs the fuck up and um i'll see you on the next one peace out y'all